Wide Awake Nightmare. So this is 2003? Yes. When Wide Awake Nightmare came out? This is when Mikey had all but taken over BMX. BMX as well. Uh, driving a Trans Am, listening to Slayer and ACDC. Just the badass of like the contest scene. Like kids were dressing like him, growing their hair like him. And it was like Mikey's world and, and we were living in it. And I feel like this part came out when his popularity was probably, you know, as high as it ever was. Yeah. It and stayed there for a while, but you're right. Well, I think yeah. this is where it kind of got there. And he would, had fully become one of the best overall bike riders. I definitely think he helped people want to be more like well-rounded. I think that era in general was a really well-rounded era, and I think yeah. he probably had a lot to do with it. Just the fact that anything you threw in front of him, just for the love of it, like for the love of yeah. riding his bike, it was like, I don't give a shit what it is, I just want to ride. If it's ramp, if it's trails, if it's street, it's whatever it is. He was so good at it because of how much fun he had doing it. So far it's been all like ramps and street doing rails like that. Yep. Uh, rails to 180s when it wasn't, you know, an everyday trick. Yep. Curve walls like that. Like he was killing every aspect of BMX at that point. Yeah, at the highest level of every, I mean ramp, street, obviously dirt. Just, he'd, go, he'd do the hardest shit everywhere. It's the hell hole out in Wyoming. And I, I always love this clip. He's sprinting at the, the wall and he just blasts his flatty off. Yeah, that's a good clip. Any clip where you're pedaling as fast as possible. The beginning. Solid clip. I think that, yeah, I think he was fit for most of this, yeah, on fit. And I believe in these uh, these clips here, the little double rouse. This is like the first time you see girl jeans. Yeah. <laughs> that girl <laughs> jeans. Was that it? Yeah, that yeah, might have like, been it. He was rocking the girl jeans. He definitely and then was. Every kid started rocking them girl jeans. They took it a little further than Mike did. Yeah, there was some glittery pockets and everything <laughs> going on. That was always the running joke. Like, let's let's put Mike in cowboy boots and see if that works. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'd always just come up with the most ridiculous scenarios of what we could have him wear and, and say or do. See if it catches on. Yeah, to see if it catches fire in the BMX world. <laughs> this was a lot of the first concrete park footage that I saw of Mikey, which was, again, just so, so impressive, especially for me, not having ridden much concrete at the time, just knowing how hard it is when you go to a concrete park to just rip off these lines like he does, you know, effortlessly again. I mean, yeah. that's that's definitely a common phrase that keeps coming up is just effortlessly. He's firing down the triple kink rails. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, now it's hard to say that like he's not known for anything because everybody knows what he does and what he has done. But at, at the time, again, street, it was just, he was a dirt rider, but the, the street shit he would send me and that I would film of him is just, it was just every bit as, you know, up there in the street world as his dirt clips were in the dirt world or trail world or whatever you want to call it. And <laughs> same with ramp, you know? I always like that fast plant 450. Like it seems you, you just blow a knee out doing that. <laughs> Definitely. But I think Aiken's legs, again, were like made of rubber. You know, he kind of just did shit. It's, he would just get his bike out, helmet on, and you just fucking push record because 30, that, that's just how he was riding that yeah. day. And you were either recording it or you weren't, but that's what was going on at the time. This was switch foot at Bucks. Yeah, switching the feet, doing the turn down. Just switching them all over the place, yeah. I mean, that was one of the first times I think I'd seen that stuff. This park right here that he's riding in, uh, I believe it's Provo. I walked into this park one time and I see Mikey riding. I'm like, yeah, that park looks so sick. I can't wait to get my bike out of the van and everything. I start riding, I'm like, man, this park sucks. <laughs> There's coping sticking out everywhere. The ramps don't line up. Yeah. There's like nails everywhere. And Mikey's just blasting yeah. it. And I was like, dude, how are you riding this right. godforsaken park? And like the rest of us just sat down and watched them. And it was like the Mikey show for like two right. hours. Oh, I loved these clips. It was like ramp street and trails all in one clip, kind of, you know, just like the fact that he was grinding and he caught the little style down into the ramp. Oh, that was that backflip fast the, plant The thing. 180 fast plant. I'm gonna take credit for that because I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> I sure as shit didn't do it, but I thought of it and told him to uh, try it and he did it, of course, just kind of like that. I always liked how the end of this part Firing out these crazy street clips. Pretty gnarly ender, the triple kinker to 180. Like, not a lot of people were doing the rails to 180 in general. So, they're like, see, a guy was primarily known for riding trails. Yeah. Which, again, isn't what you would have expected on Mike's part. 